<clears throat> Halloween is the time of the year where we all go to each other's house and make beats together. No, because I don't really know anybody in real life who makes beats. Except for you guys. But what we can do is make some dark and creepy melodies together. To make it easy for everyone, I'm only using stock and free plugins, so you don't need to buy anything. Open up the plugin list and select FL keys, or whatever you like. Go to the piano roll, and now we need to choose a scale that can be used for creepy melodies. I'm going to use the G minor scale, and if you don't know any music theory, open up the menu on the top left, go to view, and then scale highlighting. Now, make sure the minor natural is selected, and select one of the scales here. For me, it's gonna be G minor but you can do whatever you want. Now all of the notes I can use are highlighted so as long as I stay inside the scale it's gonna sound good. To create a chord start with the root note. If you choose the G the chord is gonna be a G minor. Then skip one highlighted note and draw one on the next. Then skip one again and draw another one. What you now have is a G minor chord. Now make another one using the same technique, for example a C minor. To make it sound better, you can take the G note and drop it one octave. This is called transposing. The notes of this chord are now closer together with the first chord, which will make the transition between them more smooth. Continue doing this or copy and paste the first two chords. Now lay down a melody on top of the chords. Make sure it sounds dark and creepy. This has to come from your own creative mind, but if you can't find anything, feel free to copy mine and then change it up to your liking. Next, we're gonna give the melody more power and to do that, copy the root notes of the melody and paste them one octave lower. Awesome, now to make it sound like the piano is being played by a real person, select the notes and offset them slightly to the left or the right. You can also change the velocity of the notes. You can compare this with the force you use to push down the note in the piano. Another cool trick you should try is using the panning. In the little menu on the bottom left, select panning. Now you can push some notes to the left or the right and this will make your melody more dynamic. Next, head over to the channel rack and open up the Citrus VST. From the preset menu, find the angelic whistle. Close the plugin and open up the piano roll. Now you can create a counter melody, something that would fit well with the melody you already have. Sounds awesome. I also found a creepy bell inside the plugin that really fills in the gap in the melody. Now it's time to add a bass line to the melody and you can use an 808 for that if you want. But for this one I'm gonna create a normal synth bass. Open up Slim Synth and here you can create one yourself. Or browse through the bass presets. The bass acoustic preset will get the job done but increase the attack of the first oscillator just a little bit. Go to the piano roll and lay down a simple pattern. To keep it basic, copy the root notes of the melody. That will do the job most of the time. You can always add more variety to the bass line but don't overdo it. You wanna keep it simple. That already sounds really good, but I have some more tricks for you guys. Send the piano to a mixer track and give it a name to stay organized. Open up the effects list and choose Fruity Reverb 2. Once it's open, decrease the dry knob to zero and increase the wet knob to 100. Close it and play with the mix knob until you like the sound of it. Basically what we're doing here is mixing the original dry sound with the wet reverb sound. Another effect you can add is the Fruity Delay 3. Once it's open, play around with the delay time and if you want, you can also mess with the other settings. Decrease the dry to zero and close the plugin. In the channel rack, again, mess with the mix knob so that the delay is subtle. You can do the same thing with the other sounds, but don't do it on the bass. I mean, you can try it and then listen for yourself. It will completely destroy it. Next, we're gonna add a simple drum pattern like this. Again, you can copy mine, but try to adjust it to your own liking. That way you'll actually learn how to create one yourself. And now it's time to put everything in the playlist. And to do that, open up the playlist. Right click on the pattern and select split by channel. Now all the patterns are separated. Drag them into the timeline and create a simple beat structure. This is what I came up with. Next, to make it even more terrifying, add some creepy sound effects like zombie screams or whatever you can find.
Okay, that sounds amazing, but now you need to learn how to mix this whole thing. And to do that, check out this video right here where you will learn everything about mixing. Gotta go now, goodbye.